everyone, it's just Kevin Kitwana. Well, I'm still waiting for the entire Briarfest 2020 haul to be delivered to my Swiss home. I thought I would entertain you with another horse toy for this episode of Kitwana's Toys. Since I actually got a viewer question a while ago, uh, uh, whether I have uh, any Barbie horses and if so, which one is my favorite Barbie horse? And that's what we are talking about it uh, right now, today. And uh, the answer I can give you is this 1998 set. It's the uh, Walking Beauty horse along with the horse riding Barbie. This, um, I would say this definitely uh, is pretty much my favorite Barbie horse. Today's Barbie horses are kind of a bit uh, too much, uh, too much plastic, too much noise, uh, too much sounds. I prefer to have them uh, rather uh, simple and uh, a bit more realistic looking uh, uh, without too much uh, pink and stuff. Even though I know it's uh, just the color, but still I prefer to have uh, my horse toys uh, looking as realistic as possible and I think that's definitely the case with this beautiful um, horse here. We are going to unbox it, uh, both of these uh, toys today, the doll and the horse. Um, this set was also available as a gift set with the doll included, uh, but um, I preferred to uh, uh, get um, the items uh, individually because uh, black dolls matter as you know and I was only able to find uh, the gift set with the Caucasian version of the doll but I wanted the black Barbie doll, the African American Barbie doll to go with it but of course I do have the Caucasian version as well and we're going to look at the uh, both of the dolls and the horse, of course, uh, during this video. So, um, we'll quick look at the box. You can see this is a beautiful uh, display box. Uh, the only thing that's pink is the box, actually. Uh, pretty much. Uh, of course, I like the... For display, I like the gift set a little bit more because this has the doll already uh, included and sitting on the horse. But um, uh, this set is too cool not to unbox um, since it uh, comes with a couple uh, functions and this uh, is pretty big uh, playability. As you can see, the horse is supposed to walk and uh, yeah, it's supposed to make sounds as well, kissing and neighing sounds and we want to see um, batteries are currently empty but uh, I do have replacements here so I will be able to show you after unboxing see here uh, I blow kisses that's pretty sweet and the uh, back of the box is interesting as well um, Post the uh, uh, riding stable, which was actually uh, available as well, and of course the actual products and uh, some of her uh, ponies. And it looks like the Barbie doll is uh, actually a bit uh, too big, or respectively the horse a little bit too small. So it's probably a younger horse. Uh, meant to be a younger horse. Uh, we will see how this is uh, in reality. You can, you can also see the three ponies that were available on the back of the box of the horse riding doll. Baby pony, sassy pony and Sweetie Pony, that's really cute. Um, these actually uh, go together with uh, Barbie's kids. Uh, but unfortunately, 
what's not available, what never was available, are these thumbs. And that's too bad. Uh, would have offered uh, uh, even more playability. But um, let's see what we can do with this set. So, opening them up right now. Uh, you can still see the original retail price. Here the Toys R Us sticker. And the horse riding doll seemed to be $12.99 back at the time. So, Alright, so let's open this up. Really looking forward to play with this. There's also a little catalog that has some super cute uh, pictures of the dolls. These are really handsome. And it shows you uh, the other products that were available uh, uh, back in 1998 as well. Some of the other products are pretty interesting. So here's our Walking Beauty horse in its full beauty. and. Before we uh, look at the actual horse, let's take a look at the accessories that came with the horse, which I have in front of me right here. So here's a look at the catalog. Looks like uh, she got some more little animal friends around her stable. That's really, really cute. Take a look at what was available back in 1998. And here's a look at the actual uh, horse riding uh, Barbie and her daughter Stacy in super cute equestrian outfits as well. And there's her three little ponies, of which the Walking Beauty horse is their mother. Super cute, super handsome, I must say. And just the back, the catalog, almost like a little poster. Then we've got the instruction sheet. This tells you how to make your horse walk and how to take care of it. So we'll check out how well the uh, walking feature works. Looks like it isn't that easy, takes a little bit of practice, so we'll see if I manage that. And this also tells you how to activate the sounds. Furthermore, we have a couple of accessories included. A brush for Barbie's hair and the horse's mane, a feeding basket, a saber, a glove, a spray bottle, a uh, smaller brush and a sponge. Uh, most of these items Barbie can actually hold in her hand. As for the batteries, we will need three AT13, also known as LR44 batteries. Okay, so a quick little disappointment. These would have been the batteries that were supposed to go in here, but I found the screw to be that tight. I was unable to open the battery compartment with any of my manual screwdrivers. Uh, I definitely shouldn't invest in an uh, electric one, a battery powered one. So the Batteries aren't completely dead, but um, just very weak, so I'm able to uh, show you at least one of the sounds, the neighing sound. It's very, very quiet. I'm trying to capture this on camera. So 
So the way you uh, access this sound feature is uh, turn its head to the right. You can see the neck is uh, it's made out of rubble actually. And if you would put the head down on the nozzle, it's supposed to um, emit the kissing sound, which it doesn't actually do. That's too bad, so we cannot hear that. But at least I think you got an idea of the neighing sound, trying this again. So after that disappointing battery experience, um, there's still a lot to uh, show you. Uh, we take a look at the actual horse now. And what I really like is that we have an actual uh, saddle and a saddle pad that can be removed. Uh, you know, on the uh, current Barbie horse, horses, uh, the, these parts are usually uh, molded onto the body of the horse, and that's what I uh, really don't like, since uh, a big part of the fun uh, to play with model horses is that you can actually uh, tack them up like a real horse and you can see this is ab absolutely definitely possible here on this horse we, uh, we also have a nice bridle already attached you can see and there are three clips in its golden mane I think the horse is uh, trying to be a palomino or something uh, like that. Um, we've got four white sacks and a lovely golden color, a uh, lovely blonde mane and blue eyes. Look at that. No, that's definitely a Barbie horse. <laughs> and a super cute white muzzle. This is awesome. I think the horse looks great. It's absolutely lovely and you uh, can take care for the mane with the brush. Um, I would suggest to uh, uh, make the mane a little bit wet before you start working on the uh, start working on the mane, start brushing it. This will make things a little bit easier but of course Take extra care that the water doesn't uh, run into the uh, uh, battery compartment or any of the electronics in this horse. Um, as said, the saddle and the saddle pad is removable. So I'm uh, going to do this. Uh, Right now it's, it's really easy. The saddle is uh, made out of rubber. And then we've got the saddle pad which is a combination of uh, uh, an elephant golden trim, a uh, little bit of dark red and uh, the actual pad is white. This looks really elegant, no pink here, and we've got the bare horse, and what I also like is that they actually uh, made the effort to close the screw holes that are, uh, uh, would have been present on the uh, left hand side of the horse, so uh, kudos to Mattel. Not every toy maker makes that effort anymore that's too bad screw holes ruined many 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 great toys so I'm glad to see this isn't the case here so so now I think it's time to uh, saddle up walking beauty again and uh, get her ready for a ride as we want to look 
at the actual Barbie doll that came with this horse that belongs to this horse actually. So I'm putting this away real quick and we take a look at the doll. As you can see, um, this picture of the riding uh, Walking Beauty and I really like how poseable she is and uh, fantastic photo on the back. It's too bad that this uh, thumb isn't included, that would have uh, made for some uh, great playability. But I can see uh, with how poseable she is, there will be uh, lots of display and playing options. So, let's get her out of the box. And take a look at this doll. I think this is definitely one of the most elegant and best equestrian dolls that uh, Mattel uh, ever produced of Barbie. He has brown eyes, black hair and comes with a uh, removable helmet. Take a look at her face. Uh, he's got two earrings, two golden earrings and a uh, handsome uh, face and when we go further down he has a dark blue uniform that I really really like uh, and a white tie with a gemstone on it and as you can see he's able to hold the uh, actual accessories that came with the horse uh, we got the uh, uh, Pretty much uh, white pants and black equestrian boots. So this is super handsome but also looks uh, pretty realistic I would say. And if we put it together with the horse you can see that actually this is a little bit out of scale. Except if we uh, assume that uh, the horse is a younger horse. So uh, a horse. If it was a grown-up horse, um, it would be tall, taller than Barbie. But that's okay. This looks... It's a great set anyway. And in terms of uh, articulation, uh, this Barbie is really, really possible, and she better has to be. If you want to uh, fit onto her favorite horse. So... Uh, is articulated on the neck, the shoulders and the elbows as well so she can uh, move her arms uh, 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 pretty far and we have other points of articulation in her belly so that enables her to uh, uh, move her upper body around pretty well and of course articulation in the hips and in the knees as well and the legs can move pretty far she can even do splits like this you can see that's very nice so it's definitely a, uh it's definitely a, a good doll that is uh, supposed to go on a horse and we want to see how this actually uh, look like um, it's a bit too bad in terms of realism that the steps are a bit weird on this saddle and they don't actually hang down it's rather um, uh, uh, these uh, weird straps that uh, are at the front part of the saddle that the legs are supposed to go through and that's how our set looks like. I think it looks fantastic uh, on this play. Barbie up on her walking beauty horse, uh, ready for the next uh, jumping competition. And uh, I think, yeah. So you don't even notice uh, that much the, uh, the error in scaling anymore. 
uh, as long as he's not standing uh, next to her horse. And to close this video, I want to show you what I didn't show you yet, the walking feature, because that works uh, even without batteries, because there's no uh, motor involved. So what you do is, um, according to the instructions, you hold here at the back, and then you move the horse forward like this, and you can see the legs actually moving. It works actually both ways, backward and forward. It takes a little bit of practice, but it's possible. It's best to hold it at the tail. And lift it a little bit off ground, just a little bit, so that the legs can move. Since the legs actually do not have horse shoes, but rubber pads underneath. Rubber has kind of an anti-slip function. But as you can see, a little bit of practice, this works. And the best thing is, it doesn't take batteries and doesn't make noise. Unlike the new Barbie horses that have really loud servo motors in there, I think this is better, definitely the better solution. And I like that they uh, made the tail uh, out of plastic for that matter. So it's, uh, it's not real uh, hair on the tail. You still have um, enough uh, hair to play with on the mane. The mane is uh, absolutely lovely, uh, lovely blonde mane. And I think it's just the right length. I'm probably going to remove the, uh, the clips and then display it like that to make it look like a uh, realistic uh, uh, eventing horse with, with a good looking doll. So yeah, this is pretty much it for this video. I hope uh, next weekend I can show you my uh, prior Fest 2020 haul. And Lion King fans, uh, uh, don't be desperate either. We will uh, continue with uh, many, many more Lion King toys in the future. For now, it's just a little bit my, uh, uh, my horse toys. But uh, I know that, you, uh, that uh, many of my viewers uh, love them as well as much as I do. And I'm really, really thankful about that. So um, uh, if you uh, love Barbie and... Uh, her horses let me know in the comments uh, what was your favorite Barbie horse toy through the years um, uh, uh, especially would love to hear what you had as a child because I really like the older Barbie horse toys and with that being said I'll give the word to you now as always below in the comments and I'll see you next weekend for another episode of Kitwana's Toys Goodbye.